everybody, it's Tammy from Winky World Adventures and I am here on this October 31st. It's actually Halloween, so happy Halloween. If you're doing anything for Halloween, do you celebrate Halloween? We're not really big into Halloween just because, I don't know, we're Christian obviously and don't like the whole connotation, but you know, we try to keep it fun. There is a little party going on here tonight in the park where we're at. So we decided, yeah, we're gonna go for a little while. They do have a costume part to it where you can actually get prizes if you wanna wear a costume. I don't know if that we're gonna have time to come up with anything. Right now I just have my cat shirt on. I thought about being a cat lady. <laughs> Cause I really am a cat lady. I think most of you know that. But I don't know if I can come up with enough fun things with that. We'll see. We'll see, but I need to bring something, a finger food. And so we're still kind of acclimating. You know, I just finally got my wrist back. It's working a little better. So I'm doing a little more cooking, but I thought I'm gonna make something easy. I'm just gonna make uh, what's known as puppy chow. Some of you might've made this before. It's just a super easy recipe. So I'm gonna be putting that together kind of while I talk here, I guess. There, it's so nice outside again. I'd rather be outside right now. It's it's about 82, 83 degrees. I think it's going up to the upper 80s today. And we looked outside. I'm gonna put a picture here. It is just gorgeous outside. And you know, we were so thankful. I got a bunch of videos and Facebook messages this morning from people back in Minnesota. And even in Wisconsin, where we used to live, they had snow up there today, even a snowstorm in Wisconsin. So, you know, days like this, we're just really thankful we made this decision <laughs> and that we're here kind of in paradise, it feels like right now. But so, yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be here. So I'm going to be putting this together. I wanted to make it kind of Halloween-ish, though. So we got some candy corn that I'm going to mix in at the end just to kind of make it a little more festive for Halloween or fall, whatever you want to call it. So to start off, all I really need is a cup of smooth, creamy peanut butter. So I'm going to put a cup of peanut butter in this smaller bowl along with a cup of chocolate chips. Now I'm using semi-sweet Nestle's Whole House. You know, we've always kind of used these, but it said on there you could use dark chocolate, which sounded really good too. If I would have had dark chocolate, I probably would do that. I don't think you want to use milk chocolate. It might be a little too sweet, but anyway, I'm going to use a cup of this and a cup of this in the bowl, and then I'm going to microwave it and melt it all together. So that's the first step. Okay, so that's about a cup of peanut butter. Sticky, sticky. I got all these groceries at Aldi yesterday, so we saved a little bit there too. Everything here was at Aldi, except for the candy corn. I dig digress because I don't know if we got there too late, but they didn't have candy corn, so we had to go to Publix to pick up some candy corn. Okay, so now I need one cup of the chocolate chips. I probably should have done this first so I'm not pouring into the messy peanut butter, but oh well. Can't be much more simple, huh? Alright, so now I'm going to stick this in my microwave. This is my new microwave, well my, new to me. <laughs> convection microwave so I'm still figuring out the settings on here but I'm going to try to see if I can get this to melt. I did pick up this rack on Amazon. I'm going to try. 
I tried making some, uh, heating up some rolls yesterday, and it worked okay for convection, but I'm going to try baking some cookies in it later this week, and we'll see if we can actually get that to work. Now I could, if I wanted to, heat this up on a stove top, um, which for me it's, it's my little uh, new wave that I bought, induction cooking, but I think I'm just going to use the microwave today, just to make it a little more simple. Okay, well that's melting. I'm going to be pouring three cups of rice checks. These are called rice squares from Aldi, but they're pretty much the same thing as the rice checks. I'm going to pour three cups into the bowl here. Now some recipes for puppy chow use butter. This one didn't, so it all depends, I guess, on what recipe you're using. but. With the peanut butter, I guess that gives it enough buttery. Sticky stuff to make it, <laughs> to make it come together, whatever. Okay, so that's two cups. And three cups. We're being really careful to kind of seal everything up to make sure we don't have any icky bugs. We have not seen, by the way, any roaches, any bugs since that one day. So it's kind of weird, but Ron did put some natural returns down below um, that we got on, on Amazon. Some cedar wood scented things and then some peppermint scented pouches. And so maybe that's helping, but you know, we haven't seen a thing, so that's good. Cool. Okay, I'm going to check on this. I had it in here two minutes, and it's already melting pretty good. I'm just going to stir this around a little bit with a rubber scraper. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the peanut butter is getting all melty and delicious. I think the chocolate might need just a little more time. Okay. So I'm going to put it back in for another minute and a half about. I'm using 30% power on here, and that seems to be doing the trick. Okay, so yeah, that's good enough. It's all melted. I had it in here a total of uh, three and a half minutes on 30% power. So it's just perfect. I'm going to stir it up just a little more. And then I have those three cups of rice checks or rice squares, whatever you want to call them, in this bowl. I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in. Okay, I think that's most of it. I did the best I could with my wrists, so... Um, now, I'm just going to go ahead and mix all of that together. This, again, this is only the three cups. I'm going to be adding another three cups here in just a minute. So this is kind of the first step to kind of get it all incorporated. Okay, so now I'm going to pour in another three cups. together and see how it looks. You're making sure everything gets off the bottom. Now if it looks like it's still pretty chocolatey and soupy or whatever, I would probably put a little more in here, up to another cup. But they say only put it in in one quarter cup increments just until it looks right. 
because you don't want to have it too dry. You do want some chocolatey bits in there, kind of. So, that looks good. Really good. I could go for some right now. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put in a little more, though. Just maybe a half a cup, I think. That's, that'll be plenty. Okay, okay, so there, I've got it really well mixed now, and I did end up using around six and a half cups, maybe just a little over that. I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator right now because we want it to be cool before we put the powdered sugar on. But you don't want it to harden, so you got to kind of watch it. I'm just going to stick it in here, and then we'll get on with the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna check here <clears throat> and see if this has cooled down to room temperature. I don't want it too cool. That looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna stir in one cup of powdered sugar. I've got a half cup measure here, so I'm gonna do two of these. And then I'm just gonna stir it around now we might be putting in more powdered sugar later, depending on how it looks, but this is kind of a two-step process. So after I stir this up, I'm gonna cool it again. Let it cool for about 15 minutes, and then we'll see how it looks and see if I need to add more powdered sugar. You can add up to another cup, kind of like we did with the cereal. Um, until it looks kind of how you want it to look. But at this point, we don't want to put too much in because it kind of soaks it up in a way, the powdered sugar. The chocolate is just kind of soaking it up. So after it cools more, then we can add in a little bit more powdered sugar, like a quarter cup at a time again, uh, up to a cup until it looks kind of how we want it to look, which would be puppy chowish. <laughs> And don't forget I have to put in my candy corn at the end here. So I'm gonna do that. But anyway, what I've been talking so much about this recipe, what are you doing for Halloween? Do you have any plans? Do you celebrate Halloween? Write it in the comments below. Or what do you like to make? Do you have any fun snacks that are kind of go-tos? You know, there's some really cute little cookies and things decorated like spiders that I've seen. So <clears throat> What kind of things do you like to make for Halloween? Do you go to a party? Or do you just stay in and watch movies? Or Let me know, I'd like to know what you do. We have not gone to a Halloween party in forever. <laughs> so this will be the first time in years when we've done something like this. So it'll be kind of fun. It'll be fun to see what everybody else brings. Maybe I'll update you on that a little bit tomorrow. Okay, so this is getting incorporated. You can kind of see there, hopefully. The powdered sugar is pretty much coated on all of them here. And um, like I said, some of them are kind of absorbing that. But that's okay, because we're gonna come back and add a little more later. I might go and think about a costume. Otherwise, I might just wear my kitty. <laughs> you know, when we got rid of everything moving down here, I don't have a whole lot. There's not like a lot of stuff laying around that I could pull a costume together with. I would have to go thrifting or something, but I'm not gonna have time this year. And that's okay. It said costumes optional, so we may just be going as ourselves. One of our friends said, why don't you just dress up as two people from Minnesota? <laughs> Which we probably could do, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, this is gonna go back in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, and then I'll finish it up. Okay, it's been in there about 15 minutes. And it's looking good. So I'm just gonna put in another like a quarter cup of 
powdered sugar and stir that around to see how it looks. And just to make this easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and pour it into the bowl that I'm going to bring later to serve it in. So I'm that way I can kind of check on the bottom to see what needs to be stirred up more. Okay. And at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the candy corns. So I don't really have an amount for this. I'm just going to start with maybe a half a cup and see how that looks. Well, probably a cup. <laughs> I want to have some candy corn in there. Okay. So I'm going to stir this up now.